Hey guys, it's me, Serene. Just wanted to start this video by thanking you. I will have timestamps for when Makeup Bag Monday 2.5 goes up. You can skip ahead. Everything will be in the description box. I kind of left last week not knowing if I wanted to continue here on YouTube. <sighs> I just had a lot of doubt, feeling like I was trying to make something work that maybe isn't sustainable or maybe isn't worth it. After that video, I told myself I'd look at comments for an hour, respond to as many as I could, and then I would not put the pressure on myself to respond to everybody. The overwhelming amount of support and understanding and love and positivity and just support from you was not only overwhelming, incredible, unexpected, humbling, it made me realize how amazing our small but mighty community really is. And I always knew it. I knew how valuable you guys are. I don't have millions and millions of viewers and subscribers or followers or anything like that, but the ones I do have, which is you, is priceless. I feel like we are friends so many of you guys who communicate with me via DM, I truly feel like I am a part of your life, maybe from a distance, but that we know a little bit of what's going on with each other. I feel like you're there for me through so much, through my initial discovery of YouTube, which was because of crippling depression. Then, you know, life was going really, really well. And then my mom got sick. The amount of outreach of those of you guys who are dealing with that as well personally and then of course losing my mom how many of you guys also had gone through that or were going through that just you guys have always been there for me through all of these life changes and all of these these things these growing pains which is what my mom always liked to call them i hopefully have been there for you in some way with my videos to help you unwind and de-stress and take your mind off of whatever it was that might have been bothering you through your day to celebrate your joys to celebrate your successes but also to be there for you as a comfort and as something that was always going to be there for you during hard times i know how important it is to upload consistently because YouTube to me was an escape and something I could depend on. And there were my favorite channels that I looked forward to for new videos, especially if I was having a rough week. I've always taken pride in being very consistent with my upload schedules, even when I was out of town. So that being said, just thank you. I don't know what else to say because I don't have the words to express how much you guys mean to me. You guys help me and how much I love you guys. And I know everybody's like, oh, I love my subscribers. I love my fans. I love my followers, but it's not, it's not the same. It could be the same. I don't know. It could possibly be the same. I don't want to discount anybody else's feelings, but it's not just a number to me. I wish I was better at expressing my feelings through words because I cannot tell you how important you guys are to me. And that's why I'm not quitting. But I am going to tell you how things are gonna change moving forward and kind of like what's going on. <sighs> this video is gonna probably be all over the place, I'm sorry. So many thoughts happened when I was gone for the week. I also went away. I went to Sedona, Arizona, which is a place of healing for me. You guys can believe or not believe, but at the end of the day, I truly believe nature is very healing and Sedona has energy vortexes and whether or not you believe in it, it is a very peaceful place to go and recover or think and I felt antsy there were so many times I wanted a stories what was happening but I told myself I wasn't and I wasn't going to use my social medias and it was just so hard to disconnect from you guys I felt like I was like ghosting on my friends but I I think it's good because now I have a more solid clear path where I want us to go and where I want Chris and myself to go and when I say us I mean you and me this channel started from a place of dressing myself happy and trying to figure out how to dress myself happy again. YouTube helped me find that. At first it was through excessive amounts of product reviews and shopping and hauls and that evolved. Someone left me a message on Instagram and it really sat with me and it was very insightful that 
she didn't always follow me because of the product reviews or the beauty products or things like that but that i was on this continued journey to find happiness and she's right i am on this continued journey to find happiness whether it be through beauty products and makeup or handbags or hauling or no buys and fitness and wellness i am on a continued journey to find happiness and keep it and I don't think happiness is the end-all be-all, but I think as humans, we have to constantly seek it and figure out what makes us happy. And it's okay that things change and that we change and that we grow and that certain things that used to make us happy no longer make us happy. The one consistent throughout this entire time of this journey of trying to figure out how to dress myself happy is you. You have continued to sustain me. You have continued to help me create a community that has helped me find continued happiness and friendship and community. And that is why I don't want this channel to die. I don't want to quit. That being said, obviously this channel is going to have beauty products and skincare and all those things because that's the core of this channel. But I am on a continued journey to find happiness and to better myself. Someone who deals with depression, sometimes crippling, sometimes not. So there are different levels of depression. There are different levels of anxiety. I deal with it on a daily basis. Some days are great, some days are not. Find joy in product reviews and product testing at times. I also find joy in experiencing life. And I definitely have shifted in the last year or so about quality over quantity, which I've always preached, but definitely more on a dramatic level. I focus on experiences, more the materialistic things. And I've just been on a continued journey to figure out who I am and find things that make me happy. And that's what this channel is going to be. Makeup Bag Mondays and weekly vlogs. It's also going to be Facial Fridays whether my traditional facial treatments where I take you along on a facial spa experience or I perform a relaxing ASMR whisper facial on a friend or an acquaintance or maybe one of you guys. We've been trying to figure out how we can have you on the channel and I treat you to a relaxing facial treatment. Wednesdays have always been kind of a wild card for me, whether it be some dedicated product review. Wednesdays have been stressing me out. Wednesdays haven't been great getting great views. I'm not gonna push it. Wednesdays will happen when Wednesdays happen, but I promise you I will be here every Sunday or Monday for Makeup Bag Monday slash what happened to my week and I will be here every Friday for Facial Fridays. I think that will take a little bit of the pressure off of me, still provide you with content that I think you enjoy to begin with, with bonus content every so often. Many of you guys might have noticed that I have really been taking my health seriously the last two years and most specifically this year. I'm 35 years old and I was not in a great place. I took it very seriously this year to get as strong as I can get, to stop injuring myself by building my strength, by figuring out my diet, because while I did do keto last year, I was doing dirty keto. Dirty keto means, yes, I'm technically keto, but I'm not focused on eating healthy whole foods. While I lost a lot of weight, I wasn't able to maintain that lifestyle or maintain the weight, and I would, what you would call skinny fat. I was not building muscle, and I was still injuring myself quite frequently. I wanted to take control of all that, and with the help of my amazing friend, Samantha Souza, who is now a certified nutritionist, and with the help of my personal trainer, Jonathan Kowalski, and also with the help of my husband, which I'll talk a little bit about, I have gotten stronger than I've ever gotten. I feel so much better. I'm not injuring myself. I don't have these mid-afternoon slumps. I have way more energy. I'm sleeping better. My doctors have been encouraging and really excited about this path. They just want me to maintain it. Physical fitness and health has so much to do with me maintaining a, a stable mental state as well. And while nothing is ever going to keep me perfectly balanced, diet, physical fitness consistency, as well as just being very strict with sugar intake, CBD helps, it does help me manage my depression and anxiety a lot more. That journey has been documented a little bit over on my second channel, which used to be called 
serene vlogs which then turned into more serene which then became serene and chris after a lot a lot a lot of thought chris and i decided where we are in life at third in our 30s he's in his late 30s i'm in my mid 30s we truly wanted to help those of you guys who need the motivation need the inspiration or need the advice or knowledge that we have and continue to learn or have access to we've decided to rebrand that channel to lead fit we've been thinking about that for a very long time and i'll let you guys know where that came from first of all if you don't know chris's last name is ledford i always go by woo we wanted to create a resource for realistic attainable, sustainable, mid-30s or older fitness. When I was looking for help, I found a lot of it on YouTube and online, but my biggest problem was while somebody online who was giving me fitness advice looked attainable, they were really in their 20s, which is different than what I need because I'm in my mid-30s. They were also maybe never at a place of being unfit. They'd always been fit in their entire life and then they just got even fitter. I came from a place where I was always very fit, but I had really bad eating habits. Then I became super fit with good eating habits, it, but this was all my 20s. And then I got very unfit in my late 20s, early 30s, and then I got even more unfit due to depression and grief, I could not get back on a path of health no matter how much I worked out because working out alone is not enough when you're in your 30s or when you're at a place of so unhealthy and unfit. So I had trouble finding someone I could relate to that was around my age that I could take advice from, that had the knowledge I could trust, that had also been in a place where I had been in. And I'm sure there are other channels out there like what Chris and I are trying to do. I just didn't find anybody as relatable, as sustainable, and that broke it down super easy. I mentioned in my last video that Chris hates what he's doing as a living he doesn't hate it he's very grateful that we get to do what we do but there's a reason he left the entertainment industry and representation and representing actors and he's kind of like doing it again and even though he's doing it for me and he loves me and we both benefit directly from what he does i wanted him to feel good about what he brings to the world because i think without job satisfaction it's a very slippery slope my job satisfaction is from you and he has always been really into fitness and health. And we come from it from a very realistic standpoint because we love donuts, or he loves donuts and baked goods and pastries. I love french fries and chips. It's just we're trying to find a balance. He decided he wanted to go and become a certified personal trainer. He's been studying for that the last few months. It was a investment that we weren't sure we should make, but I encouraged him if it was something he was serious about to go and do that. Currently, he is still studying for it and seeing him so passionate about what he's learning and applying it to himself and to me just makes me very happy. Also, on the flip side, incredibly stressed because he hasn't studied since high school. He hasn't been in classroom environment since high school. And he's also working a crazy full-time job that is very demanding. I'm so proud of him. I'm just so proud of him that he found something that he wants to do. When he decided that he wanted to be serious about fitness and get certified, I told him that we should change Serene and Chris to lead fit because it's really what's been going on over there anyways and I want him to be a part of this channel and to build his own community as well because while he can personally train people and have that as his career I think that knowledge is power and we want to empower an audience and people who have dealt with some of the issues we've dealt with and give you realistic free workouts. So that's what we've been working on over there. Now that's our group effort and so it's slow going right now but it, that's what's going to be happening over there. If you enjoy fitness and health or you just want to support us, check out the link in the description box for Lead Fit. We'd really love to have you over there. We also have started an Instagram account called at leadfit.official on Instagram, which 
will have easy, quick access workouts on Instagram as well. We will also be posting it on the Lead Fit Facebook page. And that Facebook page will also be a free resource for a community who, of people who are just trying to get healthy and get fit and who need advice or help or motivation. We wanna be there for you on that level. We live such sedentary lives these days, most of us, that it's adding to the stress, the anxiety, and the depression and mood swings. So is our diet, because our food source is just a mess. Many of you guys might already know I started ASMR by Serene channel and that's because I know while a lot of you guys enjoy my facial treatments, a lot of you guys don't enjoy the ASMR aspect of my ASMR Facial Friday videos. Facial Fridays are not going anywhere here. Facial Fridays will always be a traditional facial treatment here on my channel where I voice over and explain what's happening or me performing a relaxing facial on a friend, more of a whisper talk through. Both are meant to relax and educate and give you information about products and treatments. ASMR by Serene channel is going to be beyond that. Currently has a video cooking in on campfire, which can be very relaxing. I also plan on reading stories and poetry over there to help you fall asleep. So that channel is there purely for you to relax, unwind, and de-stress. And the reason I separated it is because I know a lot of you guys don't enjoy ASMR. Even though you can just not watch it on here, I think it's better if I just put it somewhere else for those of you guys who hate ASMR. I am not monetizing that channel currently because I can't and YouTube doesn't allow you to until you get certain amount of watch time. But if I were able to monetize, I would keep it very minimal. I love creating ASMR videos as a form of relaxation for me. So as much as it might be helping one of you guys fall asleep or de-stress and unwind, it's helping me while I produce the video. If you enjoy ASMR, check out that channel linked in the description box. Support me over there if you'd like. Instagram IGTV is like a great place for me to do product reviews. So I will continue to do Tester Tuesday on IGTV as well as Friday Favorites launching this week. This will give me a good way to do quick product reviews because I get to film it on my phone. They're really easy. They're condensed. I've been doing product reviews for five, six years now, so I'm pretty efficient at it, especially if I can film it on my, on my phone. I will also post it on my Facebook page because I know some of you guys don't use Instagram, but you use Facebook. A big, big issue that kind of caused my emotional mental breakdown last week, a lot of things piling up and me evaluating our business. Moving forward, I have decided that if a brand is late in paying me past 30 days, I'm gonna let you guys know. It's just ridiculous. I have agreements and contracts and we have a standard one that we send out, but a lot of the times brands have their own specific needs and things like that. Chris goes through it with a fine tooth comb. Sometimes we get paid net 30 after the video or content goes live. Sometimes we get paid net 60. Sometimes we get paid net 90. It's usually always from the time of the video or content goes live. I would like to add as I edit this that not always because of bad experiences Chris has tried to convince brands to give us a upfront half payment or break up the payments in installments as we create the content. One, so that I have a budget to create content, for example, like our yurt video with Greener Ways Organic, which was an amazing partnership. They were very fair, so we were able to plan out really amazing content and also get paid after completion. Usually try to work something out like that, but a lot of brands will not budge. And in that situation, it always puts us on edge because of... Which is a gamble. You could just not pay me and now hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, People have seen this content of me promoting your product with the idea that you were going to pay me so I've told them that you've paid me for this product placement my issue and my struggle as a business is that also we have to ask where the money is after that net 30 60 or 90 which takes away from me able to produce more content because we're taking time from what we do best which is produce content to find out when we're when that check was supposed to be cleared. Did it get lost in the mail? Did it not go through? Was information misgiven or whatever? We've already completed the job. We've already waited. Job's done. And now we have to find out where that money is. And usually it's because someone forgot to send it to accounting for us to get paid. So now it's another net 30 or 60 or 90, whatever their payroll system is. And we wait. And as a small business, 
we make enough money. Problem is when we don't get paid on time. It's this constant rat chase or rat race of trying to figure out where money's coming in because as a small business, as a freelancer, a lot of you guys reached out who are also freelancers, we depend on that check to pay our bills not just personally, but business-wise. I have business expenses that are not fun. I have taxes that I need to pay. That's what's been frustrating. I get paid good for what I do. I think I charge a very fair rate, but to hire a lawyer, to even call a lawyer, to ask them to send a letter, usually costs just as much, if not all, of what I'm owed. And this is where I feel powerless. As a bigger company, they usually have a lawyer on retainer or they have an in-house counsel that can send out letters, that can go after me for defamation, that can go after me for any sort of reason. I, as a small business, do not have a lawyer on retainer, but I do have legal legal counsel, but every time I pick up the phone and every time I ask them to do something, it will cost a lot of money. Obviously, if the juice is worth the squeeze, I will squeeze it. Most of the time, do I want to spend all this money, time, and energy to go after something that is going to not even pay me or pay me, and then that money goes straight to my legal counsel? That's the problem here. So, moving forward, I need to take some power back. And how I'm gonna do that is I vet the brands out as much as I can. And by vetting them out, I mean I look at the products, I talk to them, I look, try out the products, I test it out, and I give them my pitch on how I wanna incorporate it as advertisement in my videos where it feels authentic and organic and that I feel good about. And we go back and forth and we create the content and we get the feedback and we go back and forth and we make it go live and everything's great, fine and dandy until I don't get paid. When that happens, they get 30 days to make it right. If they do not make it right within 30 days, I will let you guys know because then you know that that product placement advertisement did not pay me. That's the only thing I can think of to take back some of my power as a creator. In the past, I was afraid to do that because I didn't want to rock the boat. It's not fair. It's the same thing that if you didn't pay your rent, you get like a three day leeway and then you get that notice on your door and then you get that eviction notice that's not even in an envelope it's plastered on your front door for all of your neighbors and everybody walking by to see that's essentially what I'm gonna start doing so I'm gonna just start calling brands out after 30 days of late payment so that you guys know I was not paid fairly for my time energy and content produced that's how it's gonna be it will at least make me feel like I was able to take a little bit of my power back Something that's gonna help me and my sanity a little bit more too is that once videos go live, I'm gonna wait two hours and then I'm going to reply to all of the comments. Since I started YouTube, I've prided myself in replying to almost every single comment left on my videos and Instagram. I think I need to back away a little bit and structure it so that I don't feel so overwhelmed all the time. Um, and it's not that the comments are mean, nothing but amazing, amazing comments. This does not mean I won't be reading every single comment. It just means I might be reading it while I'm waiting in line at checkout and not getting back to you right away. If it's a question, I will do my best to reply to your questions. I never want you guys to leave me a question and not get an answer. Who knows, maybe I will still reply to every single comment. I don't know, I just need to give you notice so I don't feel bad and I need to give myself permission to not. A lot of you guys reached out and asked how you could help me. This doesn't just go to me, but this goes to every, every content creator, specifically for YouTube. How you can help me, YouTube cares about watch time. If you watch my video from beginning to end, my video suddenly does better and gets promoted on the YouTube algorithm. This also matters within the first 24 hours when a video goes live. Even if you can't watch one of your favorite YouTubers videos right away, if you could click it and play it all the way through while you go take a shower, while you go do dinner, while you take a nap, it helps us 
tremendously. Watch time, views, all of it within the first 24 hours helps our videos be seen. Unless you're in the millions of subscribers and views, YouTube doesn't push you as much. I don't even know how to start a YouTube channel from scratch anymore because I am struggling at 130,000 subscribers. Best thing you can do for anybody that you love here on this platform is to play their videos within the first 24 hours all the way through, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Even if you don't leave a comment, or give it a thumbs up, just watch it all the way through. This also helps with our older videos if you play it all the way through, and that means like take a nap, but play it on mute. Subscribe, obviously, turn on post notifications, but we all know how that works. The other thing is suggesting our videos to friends and family who you think might enjoy our content. Affiliate links help us out. I try not to bombard you guys with it, but it really truly helps us out, and favorite affiliates are Jouet, Glossier and Ofra. Those three always pay on time. Those three never pressure me to produce content or push their products. They've been nothing but gracious and supportive since I started my channel. Um, those three are affiliates that are always in the description box because they pay on time. I love their products. I love the brand. I love their ethics and I love how much they've supported me the last five years. We make a small percentage on all purchases made through our links and it comes out of the brand's pocket. It does not come out of the consumer's pocket. So that's another way you guys can help us out. I realized I need to diversify my income. I am going to go through with my cookbook. I thought it was weird that you guys wanted a cookbook from me because I'm so like beauty and everything, but I love making yummy, delicious foods, low in carbohydrates, good and healthy fats, and also made out of whole foods. I'm gonna start working on my cookbook because it's something I've seen a lot of interest from you guys and that will diversify my income here on my channel. I will also be donating some of the proceeds. Some of you guys even said I should come out with merch. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Would you buy a t-shirt? Would you buy merchandise from me. I also really like the idea of the cookbook because it's low waste and it's a value more than more makeup. While I love makeup, I want to create something that can bring value to your life. Not saying that I would never create an eyeshadow palette, I just don't think that brings enough value to you right now and I feel like everybody in their effing mother has an eyeshadow palette. I don't want to compete with that. A cookbook is something that's low waste, that will last you forever, that will give you some yummy meals and that I think can add value to your daily life. Hopefully it'll be out in the next month or so. I don't know, that's ambitious. Just by giving myself permission to cut back a little bit on the content I produce here and to not have to reply to every single comment right away has freed me up creatively, emotionally, and I feel so much better coming back already. I feel excited, I feel ready to create. I'm also going to allow myself to take weeks off if I need it. I don't know how often that will be. I will definitely like notify you guys. I feel a lot better coming back because one, we're diversifying and being more specific with the content we're creating on each platform so that you can choose which one you wanna follow, if not all. I also feel really good because while Chris is going to finish up his certification to become a personal trainer and have that as his business that makes him feel good and makes him feel like he's doing something in the world that's positive and helping people, once that gets settled and started, I am going to figure out what I wanna go back to school for. I've been looking at getting my esthetician's license. I've also been looking at becoming a wellness coach. Keep doing all this, take some of the power back that I felt like I was missing, support Chris, Chris in his new endeavor. For those of you guys who did not care about any of that, here's Makeup Bag Monday 2.5. I didn't really wear any face face base makeup because I was in the desert, so I just wore my PCA sheer tint SPF 45, which I love. I just finished a whole bottle and I'm so sad, so I have to open a new one. I did use this once, and this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is the reformulation of their ever so amazing tinted moisturizer. I have been using this stuff, I think, since freshman year of college. They boosted the SPF to a 30. It is still a chemical SPF, so I personally recommend wearing an SPF as your last step of your skincare and then applying this. It boosted the antioxidants, they boosted all of the good nutritional value of their tinted moisturizers, so you can feel a little bit better about wearing face base if you need it. I think it wears just as well as the original. I don't have any issues with it. I don't 
have any newness to report other than I still continue to love it. There's not a huge difference in terms of texture, application, or longevity. This is something I am so happy I rediscovered thanks to Makeup Bag Monday, which is why I really love this series, and I hope you're enjoying the more casual laid back way of it. This is the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette Light Medium. This is what I use pretty much every single day, all week. So good, guys. This is the contour powder, which I mainly use kind of as a bronzer, and then the blush, I use, I also use this as a crease definer. Ooh, highlights, absolutely love it. Today I'm wearing this one, which is a little more bronzy, and then this one's a little more pinky champagne. Finishing powder, which I use all over the face to kind of blend everything in and buff things in. Then there's the brightener that I use on my brow bone, inner corner of my eyes. I use the finishing powder to set my under eyes as well. I love the large size mirror. This is just an incredible all-in-one face palette. Cover FX is talc-free, parabens-free, and I believe they are also fragrance-free, cruelty-free, they're just a really good quality brand. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I'm so glad because I loved it when I saw it at Cover FX's event and meeting and then I got it in my BoxyCharm, fell in love with it, but I kind of just forgot about it and now this is like so good. Another product that is not new here but I just really love is the Algenis Color Correcting Finishing Powder. This is just so effortless and easy to use. There is talc in it but it is in a pressed form so I'm not super concerned about it. It just sets everything. It also sets your SPF if you're looking a little dewy and you're just kind of like, uh, it's a little too greasy for the SPF. I've just fallen even more in love with the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow in Globe. It's what I'm wearing today. It's my absolute freaking favorite. I love it. It's so effortless. Less than 10 seconds, guys, and I have like my eyes done. The Pacifica Natural Minerals Liquid Cover Concealer. I really like this. I don't know why more people aren't talking about this concealer. I'm in the shade 18WL. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't crease. I do set it. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely liquid cream concealer. Also vegan and cruelty free and clean. These are still the items that I've continuously like had in my makeup bags. Kimiko Super Fine Eyebrow Pencil and the Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel, which I talked about last week. Kosas Sport, which I talked about last week, as well as the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Keep the face oil in my makeup bag just to continue to play with it a little bit more. Full review is last week's Makeup Bag Monday 2.4. This is something I re- threw in here because I really love it for a quick flush. This is the Tata Harper Very Sweet Cheek Tint. I just use it as a cheek tint. I don't use it on my lips because I don't think it matches my lips very well. It kind of gives me that dead fish lip. It Bite Lip Pencil 036. I'm going to show you what I'm going to rotate in for next week. I'm going to add a couple new products and I'm going to keep this because I just love it. I'm also going to keep my Laura Mercy Tinted and the Kosas and of course Globe from Kosas. Um, so that's kind of living in my makeup bag right now. I wanted to rotate in a powder foundation. This is the Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation in Olive One. I wanted to try this Zo Skin Oclipus Sunscreen and Primer. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It is a physical sunscreen. I have just had this in my to try drawer forever. So I thought it'd be time to pull this out. Blush from Kevin Aquan, the Neo Blush in Pink Sand. I thought this was a really pretty. I want to throw in the Kevin Aquan, the Central Skin enhancer sx03 i remember this being like the makeup artist dream come true i thought i would try that out what you can do with this is use it as a concealer use it as a foundation you can share it out with products got the precision brow pencil by kevin aquan as well in brunette i hear really great things about this i think it was rachel from that chic that talks about it that's what's going on in next week's makeup bag monday check back every sunday or monday i can't decide what day this video is going to go up Sunday or Mondays, our weekly update as well as Makeup Bag Mondays every week. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series revamp. I want to thank you guys so much for being here, giving me permission to take some time off and really think about things. And I'm happy to be back and I feel invigorated and I'm happy with the decisions I've made. I just have to make sure I stay strong and stick with them. And I'm really excited for Chris's new journey and endeavors. I'm excited about, um, going back to school after he gets his thing going.